In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use AI to create full e-commerce video ads that look a little something like this. This new blender is so powerful, it just might explode. Meet the Jet Smooth Portable Blender. It crushes frozen fruit, ice, and nuts in seconds without any cords. So every single visual and every scene that you're seeing here is completely made with AI and nothing is real. I didn't use my camera or hire anyone to film all of these shots. This was all made with a few prompts on ChatGPT and a little bit of creativity. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys step-by-step step on my process on making all of this happen with AI, even if you have zero experience. So let's get straight into it. So before we get into everything, let me quickly explain the power of AI and what other stores are currently doing, just so you can get an idea of the potential and how you could be using this for your store right now. So I've showed this store in one of my previous videos before, but this store called Maya Apparel is actually one of the first stores that I've seen actually creating fully AI generated videos that look like this. And every single scene that you're seeing here is completely fake. Like literally nothing here is real. And this is what really piqued my interest. It made me start to learn more about AI and how to actually generate moving visuals like this this for my own products. And since using AI ads for my store, I've been noticing much better results. You can see at the start of this month, I did around 6.6K in sales. And to give a closer look, my total net profit was actually 1.9K, giving me a net profit of almost 30%. And if I scroll down below, we can get a further breakdown on how I actually made those profits. So you can see I spent around 2.3K to fulfill all of my orders, around $2,000 in total ad spend, and then around $200 in Shopify transaction fees. And then of course I have other expenses like paying my VAs and whatnot but this is just a general gist of how much I'm making, excluding those factors. And by the way, if you wanna be able to track your profits really seamlessly, this app that I'm using is called True Profit, which I use for all of my stores. And if you're running a lot of ads in different platforms, you actually have the ability to integrate almost every single ad platform out there, such as Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads, and pretty much the list goes on. And it'll also sync every single product in your store. And all you have to do is just set up how much it actually costs you to fulfill those orders. And once you set that up, it's gonna automatically calculate your profits in real time so you don't have to. So if you want to make your life super easy and know exactly how much your store is making on a daily basis, then I'd strongly recommend checking out True Profit. I'll leave a link down below in case you want to try it out. All right, so now let me get into the full process on how I generated this full video ad with AI. So there's going to be a few foundational things that we're going to need to do first in order to create a fully animated video like this. The first thing that we need is a script that we can use for our video because this is really important so we understand which type of scenes and visuals we can actually place into the video that is going to match with the script. And I'm gonna show you how you can easily make a script for yourself by using my custom GPT. I'll link it down below in case you guys wanna use it. But basically all you need to do is find another winning video ad, whether it's on your Facebook feed or your TikTok feed. In this case, I ran into this video that had 7 million views. And this is telling me that the script that they're using is obviously something that works. And then I simply copied the URL of that video. I went over to fdown.net and then I pasted in that URL to download the video. Then I took it over to restream.io to be able to transcribe that entire video and give me the entire script in into text form, which I could then simply copy and then plug it directly into my GPT, which is gonna help me create a script for my own product modeled after the same tone and the talking style from the script that I'm giving them. So I quickly just wrote out this prompt where I just said, help me clone this script for my portable blender, adapt and shorten the script suited for a 30 second video ad. And then I'm gonna take the full script that I downloaded and then I'm gonna paste it down below this prompt. And then I'm also gonna drag over a few images of my product because this is going to give some more context on how my product works. And I simply downloaded all of these files from this AliExpress listing for this product. Then after I submitted everything, it was able to give me this script right here. However, I didn't really like the hook that it gave me. So then I just said to give me five better hooks than that. And I ended up liking this hook right here. So then I replied saying to use this hook and develop a script around that hook. And then it gave me this full script right here. And then I replied to it saying, remove the scene suggestions and give me the script itself. This way it looks really clean and easy to read. And then I simply just copy the script and then paste my script over to this website called 11 Labs using their text to speech feature. And this is basically going to help us create really realistic sounding voices that is going to explain our script. So on the right hand side, we have access to a ton of different realistic voices. In this case, I use this voice called Vanessa, which I thought sounded really good. And then once I selected my voice, I just clicked on generate speech. And then once I was happy with my results, I simply downloaded the audio file. And then I uploaded that script directly into CapCut. And that is exactly how I was ready to start building the scenes to match that script. So now the question is, how do we actually create all the content that's going to pair well with this script? So the first thing that we need to do is generate 
generate images that is going to match every single scene in our video. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. The first way could be your own creativity and just simply generating some images from scratch that you feel like is going to match specific parts of your script. Now, if you don't have too much creativity and you're not too experienced with using AI, don't worry because I also have a custom GPT that's gonna help you create image prompts and video prompts that's going to help you with the entire process. Let me show you how this is going to work. So what I'm gonna do is just drag over some images of my products so we can give some context on how my product works. And then I'm just gonna type in a prompt similar to this where I'm just basically saying, help me make a 30 second video ad based on this portable blender. And then I'm also saying to choose the target demographic for me, just in case I have zero clue on what kind of marketing angle I wanna take for this product. And after submitting that info, it gives me a full breakdown on the target demographic that it chose for me. But then it also asks me a couple of questions. The first one asks if I have a script that's already ready to go. This way it knows exactly what kind of scenes and images it can actually generate based on that script. And then it's also asking how long my video should be, but I already told them 30 seconds. So I don't know why it's asking me that again. This GPT isn't perfect by the way, but this is basically how I replied. I just said to develop the scenes around this script. And then I simply took that exact script that we used to generate with 11 labs earlier. So what happens from here is that it's going to analyze the full script. It's going to break it down by the hook, the product intro features and benefits and blah, blah, blah. And then it's just going to estimate the video length and how many shots it thinks it's going to take to be able to match every single scene for our script. And you could just have a quick read over it and see if you like it. And at the very end, it's going to ask you whether you're satisfied with that shot list and whether you want to reduce it or add more scenes. And if everything looks good to you, you can just simply tell them go. And then from here, it just created a batch of five image prompts that's going to help us bring all of those scenes into life. So what I'm going to do is copy the very first prompt. Then I'm going to open a brand new window of ChatGPT. Make sure we're on the 4.0 model. Then I'm going to paste in that prompt. And then I'm also going to drag over a very clear image of the product that I'm selling, which in this case is a portable blender. And then I'm going to press enter and see what kind of image it's able to create for us. And here's the result it was able to give me, which looks like the portable blender is about to explode, which is the exact hook shot that you guys saw in the beginning of this video. And once we generate our first photo, we just go back into our GPT and it's pretty much a rinse and repeat process. We're going to copy the prompt for image number two. We're going to go back into the chat room, plug in the photo of our product and also our prompt. And then we're going to end up with another image that we could use for our video. So I basically just continue to do this, but this time I copied the exact image that I generated based on scene two to use it for context. And then I just copied prompt number three and then I put it right here. And then this is the image it was able to create, which I also think looks pretty good. But now I'm gonna show you some of the problems that you might face as you continue to generate more images in the same chat room. So you can see down below here, I uploaded the same image from scene number two. And then I copied the prompt from image number four. And if we take a look at the results here, you can see how it created this image using the context from what it created earlier, which is kind of like that same overhead style shot. So the reason I'm showing this to you guys is that when you are generating multiple images inside of the same chat room, there can be times where you can get results that you don't really want because it's going to pull some context from some of those previous images. Now, this is partly due to the fact that at the very end of our image prompts, it's always going to have an ending statement that says to keep the lighting consistent with prior shots. Now, if you wanna be able to generate some of these images from scratch without necessarily pulling some context from the prior image, then what you can do is just open up a brand new chat room, upload a photo of your product, upload that same prompt, but just delete that ending statement that says to maintain the same lighting as previous shots, because obviously there is no previous shots that this chat room can work with. And as you can see, it created a brand new visual from scratch that I personally think is a whole lot better than what it created for me here. And this is what I ended up doing with a lot of other scenes for my video. Every time I copied the prompt directly from my GPT, I would just open up a new chat room so that I can get some fresh results. As you can see here, I have all these separate chat rooms that got me all of these different images. And one quick tip I want to give you to make your image generation much faster and also have more consistency with your products. You can also use Sora, which is directly available in ChatGPT. And inside Sora, we have the ability to generate images exactly like we could do in the ChatGPT chat rooms. The only difference is, is that we can actually choose what aspect ratio that we want, but we can also choose how many variations we want for every single submission. So you can see that I was able to create a ton of different visuals that I could use for my video much faster. And because I could get four generations every single time, it was much easier to get the result that I was looking for. And another thing I want to mention, if you want to get more accurate results for your product, I would recommend to always upload a clear photo of your product, but also include a couple of images that look more clear like this on a white background, as well as specific close-ups of certain areas of your product that have really unique designs or shapes to it. And I found that by including all of these different visuals helped to create an image that looked as close as possible to the product that I was selling. And once you have a solid foundation of all of your images, now I'm gonna show you how we can take all of those images and turn them into animated videos just like this so that we can create one full video ad purely with AI. But before we get into all of that, I just wanted to quickly mention 
find that if you're just a beginner who's just starting out with e-commerce or drop shipping and you're looking for a good solution to source any product that you want to sell one quick tip i want to give you is that you shouldn't be drop shipping from aliexpress because number one it's very hard for you to know which seller is actually sourcing a good quality version of your product and number two the customer service that you're going to get from aliexpress especially if you need help with some of your products that might arrive damage to your customers is not usually the best in my experience and if i was just starting and i want to source my products with the least headaches possible then i would simply just copy the url of the product on aliexpress take it over to zendrop use their request a product feature and plug in my url this way they can source the best quality version of my product and also give me really good customer support in the event i have an issue with the products that arrive to my customers and to make things even easier it connects directly to your shopify store and syncs all of your orders in real time and all you have to do is select all of your orders at once pay for everything in just one click and all of your customers are going to get their tracking numbers automatically and it's pretty much hands off from there i'll leave a link down below in case you want to try out zendra believe me this is probably one of the best solutions anyone who's just starting out with e-commerce should try all right so now let me walk you guys through on how i'm going to turn all of my still images into animated clips that look just like this so we're going to head back over to my gpt that we use to create all of our image prompts and at the very end of the process it's going to ask you to upload your generated images in order so that it can help you to create video prompts which is going to animate every single one of those images and then i just uploaded my first five images based on the first five prompts that it created for me and from there it was able to create all of my video prompts to animate all of those images however i did make a slight tweak where i just asked them to add some directions of sound effects in the prompts too this way we also get the animated visual but also the sound effect which is really great for our hook so now you're probably wondering what is the platform that i'm using to generate all of these animated visuals that you're seeing here well this platform is called clean ai which i think has one of the best models out there that creates really realistic looking visuals i'll leave a link down below so that you can sign up and get some free credits to generate your first few videos once you're inside the platform you want to go on the left hand side and click on video then go to the image to video tab and on this drop down here you can select whatever model is available and i personally recommend going with clean 2.1 as it's really cheap in credits and it can usually get the results that you're looking for however if you're working with really complex scenes and your prompts are super long and really descriptive then clean 2.1 master can do a better job of understanding those prompts and get you the results that you want however like i said nine times out of ten you're probably going to get the results that you need just by using the normal clean 2.1 model so after selecting your model you just want to upload the image that you want to animate in this case i'm going to upload this image that i created from sora which we're going to use as the base image to make it explode and then if we scroll down here you're going to notice that there's a box to input our prompt so this is where my gpt comes in where we have all of our video prompts and i can simply copy the very first prompt that it created for me then just paste it into the prompt box and this is optional you can choose whether you want a five or ten second clip so if we go with five seconds it's going to cost us 35 credits but if we go with the 10 second option it's pretty much just going to cost double and i would say nine times out of ten you can get most of the footage that you need just by using five second video clips and then over here you can choose whether you want one or four different outputs i would recommend sticking to one output this way you can really see the results that you get and then slowly make changes to your prompt if you're not getting the results that you want this way you can avoid burning too many credits and lastly as we scroll down further you're going to notice that there is an option for sound effects which is currently free for now and i'm going to leave this checked on because i want that sound effect and this is exactly what i have in my prompt to make that come to life and then once everything is good to go you're going to click on generate and then you just wait a few minutes and this is exactly how i was able to get this result here of that bottle exploding which i then used as the hook of my full video ad as you guys saw so once you've created your first animated scene it's pretty much a rinse and repeat process from here you're going to go back into the gpt you're going to copy the prompt for your second image you're going to go back into cling upload that second image you're going to paste that prompt into the box you're going to generate the video wait a few minutes and then you're going to end up with your second animated scene just like this and again you're going to keep doing this until you have enough scenes that you can work with so that you can match it up to the script for your video and that is exactly what i did here and with that being said let me show you the full results of the video i created this new blender is so powerful it just might explode meet the jet smooth portable blender it crushes frozen fruit ice and nuts in seconds without any cords just toss in your ingredients hit the button and it blends everything smooth right in the bottle and cleaning literally takes 10 seconds it's rechargeable compact and goes anywhere grab yours now for just 49 dollars with free shipping don't wait these always sell out fast tap the link to get yours before they're gone 
So a few things that I wanna mention about this video. Firstly, I know it's not 100% perfect. There may be a few scenes, if you look close enough, where the portable blender doesn't look the same as some of the scenes before it. But of course, this is just a current flaw with AI, but I think for the most part, it did a really good job of keeping most of the scenes pretty consistent. Secondly, the very last scene that you guys saw with the portable blender in its branded packaging was really just a concept photo that I created straight out of ChatGPT. Of course, if you're gonna include this into your own video ad, you wanna make sure that the package actually looks like the same package that is being delivered to your customers. And lastly, I wanted to mention that while the process I showed you guys to create this video seems really simple, do keep in mind that it does take a lot of trial and error in order to get all of the scenes and the visuals that you want out of Kling. And like I said earlier in this video, the GPTs that I've created is not 100% perfect and all of the video prompts and even the image prompts are not always going to give you the results that you want. And sometimes if you really wanna get the results that you're looking for, it does require a little bit of your own intuition and a little bit of your own prompting skills. For example, I created this image by using a prompt that I wrote completely by myself. And then I uploaded that image to Kling to create this little animation, which I also wrote out by myself as well. And this ended up being the scene that I put in my final video ad instead of the one that the GPT recommended for me. And again, this was just simply by using my own creativity here. And just one last final tip for my GPT. You don't have to go through the full process of creating image prompts and video prompts all in order. And instead, what you can do is that you could take an image that you generated by yourself and then you can just upload it into the GPT and then just ask it to help you create a video prompt just based on that image. And you can see that it's able to create a full video prompt based on that image. And this is something that you can also potentially test if you want to try to animate that with Kling. So that's my entire process on creating full e-commerce video ads from scratch using AI. And if you've made it this far into this video, I'm also going to show you another video ad that I've created just for fun of a fictional character from the 1700s discovering this portable blender for the first time. Behold this curious vessel which turns simple fruit into a drink most smooth. A fine pour, thick and ready, a gentleman must always prepare his potions properly. Such vigorous swirling reminds me of Lady Beatrice on the dance floor. A fine sip so good it might lead a man to mischief. In the name of liberty, I do proclaim this vessel a rightful tool for all who cherish freedom and fine refreshment. So I know that video was not perfect by any means and the character in the video clearly looks fake. But to be honest, I do think videos like this could be the future for e-commerce where you don't technically need real people to be advertising your products. And if you can create some sort of fictional character to add some humor behind the products that you're selling, that actually could be enough to convert people. But I don't know, that's just my guess. And I just wanted to show you guys this just so you guys can see the power of what you can actually create with AI. And in case you do wanna know how I create fictional characters that actually talk with my product, then let me know down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to make a video about that. But aside from that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel and make sure to join my free Discord group so that you could be connected with other like-minded entrepreneurs who are also doing e-commerce and dropshipping. And follow me on Twitter as I drop some tips and strategies from time to time on what I'm actually doing on my stores right now. And last but not least, I wanna end this video off with a disclaimer in that every single video ad that I showed you guys was just for educational and demonstration purposes only. If you do decide to create video ads for your products with AI, you need to make sure that all of your content actually looks identical to the product that you're selling because if it's not then you're just going to be misleading all of your customers and i'm not responsible for that so again just make sure to use ai responsibly and use it as a supplement for the growth and the scale of your current stores and with that being said i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one